My name is Paul Donnelly, I'm 26 years old and I'm a football freestyler from Glasgow. I started getting into football freestyling during the 1998 World Cup. I was watching players at the time such as Ronaldinho, Zinedine Zidane, Roberto Carlos and they were just doing these insane tricks that the world has never seen before and I was like, yeah, I want to give that a go and try and do that. Football freestyling is basically an art with a football it incorporates balancing, um, really impressive tricks, athletic tricks, stuff that not really many people have seen with the football, that's why it looks so cool. When I'm football freestyling, I'm just in my zone, doing what I love, passionate about it, even better than other people's watching me. Uh, I just get the biggest high and buzz off it. Um, it's an absolutely amazing, incredible experience and one of the best feelings. My most memorable moment in my freestyling career, I actually have two. Uh, I have one that was the European Cup final down in Manchester 2008. It was Glasgow Rangers versus the Russian team Zenit St. Petersburg. Uh, and I actually got to go on at half time during the game in front of 65,000 fans and perform my routine. And the second time was when the Celtic legend Tommy Burns passed away. The club managed to do a testimonial match to him in which some of the old legends and some of the current team were playing a charity match in self-awareness for skin cancer. And I also got to go on at half time and perform in front of a, a full Parkhead crowd. Um, five years I'd like to see myself performing in front of big massive crowds at amazing venues all over not just Europe or the UK but the world hopefully in five years time. The thing I love about football freestyling it's just I feel free personally whenever I when I'm freestyling. It's a sport that not many people can do or not into but it just looks amazing whenever you see it in front of you and especially whenever there's like young folk watching me or even people from other countries you I can't understand what they're saying but I know what they're saying by the expression on their face. The advice I'd give to someone who doesn't really have the confidence to do what I've done is get some confidence, be yourself. If you love something, work hard enough, perfect it and just show it to the world.